How's it going everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes and I'm the campus pastor at um, at Project Connect Online Church. Uh, I am the, uh, the, and I oversee the Freedom, the Freedom Campus of that church. Uh, so today we're going to be doing some Holy Communion today. So if you can, have a minute to, to grab like either a piece of bread or a cracker of some sort. And if you got like red wine or grape juice or like a, any, anything red, uh, you know, have a little small cup of it. So get that ready. And uh, yeah, so today's going to be a good day today, amen. So today we're going to be continuing on the series on the Gospel of Luke. And we are on chapter 21, I believe. Yep, chapter 21. And uh, next week, chapter 22. And the week after that, chapter 23. The week after that, chapter 24. Four more left. I see three more after this. So... Give God praise for what for what the Lord has done in our lives. And also I'm going to be reading out of the modern English version. Um, and I really like this version because this is the modern version of the King James Version. But yeah, so all said and done, let's go ahead and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Father, we just give you glory and praise. On uh, unto this afternoon, Lord, if we have sin in our hearts, Father, I pray that you would, Lord, we repent for what we have done. Lord, I pray that you would uh, cleanse us by your blood from all unrighteousness, Lord. And uh, we thank you, Lord, for your blood. We pray, Lord, we just give you praise and honor and glory on tonight, Lord. I pray that let the Holy Spirit fall upon this room. And uh, we thank you, Lord. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So if you can, turn with me in uh, Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21. Ooh, excuse me. All right, so <clears throat> I guess it for this. All right, let's go ahead and read. He looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury. He also saw a poor widow putting in two mites. And he says, Truly I say to you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them. For all these out of their abundance have put in their gifts to uh, gifts for God. But she out of her poverty has put in all the living she had. As some spoke of how the temple was Aboard with beautiful stones and gifts, he says, "As for this, sorry, uh, as for these things, which you which you see, the day will come when one, sorry, will come when not one stone shall be left on another that will not be thrown down." And they ask him, Teacher, when will these things be? And what will be the signs when this is about to happen? He says, Beware lest you be deceived. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he. And the time has drawn near. Therefore do not go after them. When you hear of wars and commotions, uh, uh, do not be afraid, for these things must first take place, but the end will not be at hand. Then he says to them, 
Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Great earthquakes will occur in various places, and there will be famine and pestilence, and there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. But before all these things, things they will seize you and persecute you, uh, delivering you unto the synagogue and, and prisons, and you will be brought before the kings and governors for my name's sake. It will turn out as a testimony for you. Therefore, resolve in your heart beforehand not to practice your defense, for I will give you a mouth in wisdom which all your all your opponents no not opponents your opponents will be able to neither refute nor resist. You will be betrayed by parents and brothers and relatives and friends. And they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all men for my name's sake. But not a hair on your hair is a, but not a hair on your head shall perish in your in your endurance you will gain your soul. When you see uh, when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, that you know that it's, uh, then you know that it's uh, desolate has drawn near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let those who are in the city depart, and let not those who are in a in the country enter in. For these are the days of vengeance, that all things which are written by sorry, may be fulfilled. But woe to those who are pregnant, and to those who nurse in those days. For they will be great distress in the land, and wrath upon, upon this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword, and with, sorry, and will be led away captive to all nations. Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, and moon, and the stars, and on the earth, distress of nations. With Perplexity. The sea and the and the waves warring, men fading from fear, and then, and expecting of what is coming on the inhabited earth. For the people of heaven, sorry, for the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to happen, look up and lift your head, uh, lift your heads, for your redemption is is drawing near. He told them this parable: Look at the fig tree and all the trees, when they are sprouting leaves. Already you see and know for yourselves that summer is now near. So in like manner, when you see these things happening, you know that the, that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things are fulfilled. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Take heed to... Take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts become burdened by uh, exuberance and drunkenness and anxieties of life. And in that day, on 
comes on you unexpectedly. For as a snare it will come on all those who dwell on the face of the whole world. Therefore, watch always and pray that you may be count worthy to escape all these things that will happen and stand before the Son of Man. Each day he was teaching in the temple, and each night he went out and stayed on the mountain called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to hear him in the temple. Amen. All right. So, what we have here? Oh, I forgot to read uh, Romans chapter fifteen, verse four. Uh, that's okay. Uh, number one is that the the signs of the end times. Um, the first thing that Jesus is, is mentioning is that many will be deceived, especially the elect. Um, now, do I believe in the elections, uh, the, the elect, uh, or once they will be saved? Uh, absolutely not. It, it, it's all about your personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. There will be wars and rumors of wars, or of wars, and we've seen, uh, and we've seen these, and we've seen these happening. Uh, we we heard. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we have rumors of war about the you the the United well, China wants to have war against the United States. Or something like that. But it never happened. So that's the rumor of wars. You know, we, we go through a lot of wars through American history. Like the Civil War. Uh, the American Re Revolutionary War. Um, we had war with the... Uh, the oh, the Spanish-American War. Uh, the War of 1812. We had Vietnam War. We had World War Two with Germany and Japan. You know, all these things are happening. We recently are trying to return all the troops from Iraq. Uh, countries were turned against each other. And racism will, will rise to destroy every ethnic groups, either in America, South America, Central, Canada, what else? You know, I, I believe that there will be a World War Three coming up, and I don't know when, uh, but it will happen. It will happen. And there will be earthquakes, famines, and pestilence. We had just we we just had an uh, an earthquake in North well the north e the northeast no sorry the northwest part of North Carolina with the magnitude of I think it was three point five magnitude, and now recently uh, California had another. Earthquake, I think it's uh, 4.5 magnitude. So we, you know, little, little earthquakes there, there it ain't much, but like the big earthquakes, yeah, it is gonna happen. Uh, do we, are we gonna have another earthquake in California to the point that the San Andreas, the San Andreas fault breaks and sinks California? Don't know. But it will happen. We got famines in third world countries. And pestilence. Which is sickness and disease. 
Now, we're in COVID-19 right now. And it doesn't surprise me when Jesus says there will be pestilence. And, and, and that's a sign that, that the Son of Man is coming soon. Amen. Number two, the destruction of Jerusalem. Now, this really did happen in 70 AD. Uh, the Romans destroyed parts of Jerusalem. And, uh, Ooh, excuse me. And things get a lot worse than that. Uh, many Jewish people, uh, like the Holocaust, many lost their lives. Uh, number three, the coming of the Son of Man. You know, uh, it's pretty interesting when, when Jesus um, really prophesied about him coming. And it really is amazing how God uh, does that. And, and, and there will be more detail in the book of Revelations, though, about how Jesus will come and rapture everybody into the air and stuff like that. Uh, number four, the parable of the fig tree. Now, this is a pretty interesting parable. Um, now, it usually talks about uh, about how leaves, I saw how trees change over seasons. Uh, now I am a landscaper, and I, I know you know it's you know it's all well. It's gonna be autumn in two days. There's gonna be a lot of lot a lot of uh, leaves coming down. And and we see how. Me. And we see how God uses these things to show us that, you know, time is ticking. Time is ticking. And lastly, number five, pray and keep watch. You know, uh, be a watchman or a watchwoman for the Lord. Uh, it's very, very important to watch these things. He even says... Where was it? In verse 36. Therefore watch always and pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will happen and to stand before the Son of Man. So we see that happening. You know, God, you know, Jesus is, is really, you know, talking to us to watch and pray. Watch and pray. Now, my biggest question for you guys. Did you receive the Lord Jesus Christ? Mm-hmm. See, it's, it's very, very important. You know, we were, we're living in the end times. Where we we're seeing earthquakes and hurricanes being much stronger. Uh, we see famines and pestilence, the like COVID-19. How many souls lost during this pandemic? At least 200,000 people lost their lives because of COVID-19. And so, my biggest question is, do we have Jesus in our lives today? And, 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 and then we go further. If you are a born-again believer, have you received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's, it's very, very important to understand that we need Jesus in our lives and that we need the power of the Holy Ghost to walk in holiness, to walk in righteousness in Him. So those who those of you who want to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, say this, Lord, Lord, I realize that I am a sinner. Lord, I realize that I have sinned against you. 
Lord, I ask right now in Jesus' name, Lord, please forgive me. Lord, I repent. Lord, be my Lord of my life. And Lord, I pray that you would come and change my life from now on. And Lord, I believe by your precious blood that I am washed clean as white as snow. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And those of you who want to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, say this, Lord, I want to be empowered by the Holy Ghost. So, Lord, by, by, by an act of faith, Lord, Lord, I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, come. Holy Spirit, come. Empower us by your Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So lastly, for not least, we're going to do Holy Communion. Praise God. So if you can, grab a cracker or piece of bread. So, let me read to you Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 29. And it reads, As they were eating, Jesus took bread, bless it, and break it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take and eat, for this is my body. Then he took the cup, and after he gave thanks, he gave it to them, <clears throat> saying, Drink of it, all of you, for well, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. I say to you, I will. Now drink of this fruit of the vine from now on from now on until the until that day when I drank it new with you in my father's kingdom. Take and drink. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have a great weekend. God is good, amen. So please go ahead, share, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.